Welcome, Leos. I'm back, y'all, with another video. So, yeah, let's get into it. This is going to be for... <clears throat> excuse me. Mm. Mm. I had to take a sip, because what was that all about? <laughs> all right, so we're going to talk about September. Let's see what messages we got for you for the month of September. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm the Empress. I'll be happy to have you here. With, if you would like, you can click the bell to subscribe so you won't miss out on future videos. All right. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for returning. Be sure to like, comment, and share with your family and your friends, okay? Oh, somebody loves you unconditionally. All right, somebody is in love with you. All right, tell me more. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. Just being near you is intoxicating. Like somebody got the hot. Somebody got the hot, honey. I can't stop thinking about you. Yeah. Like, if this person feels you leaving them behind, they're like, no, no, where you going, Leo, no. <laughs> like, really, like, somebody, like, legit loves you. Somebody is starting to now, if they didn't understand that connection before, they do now. This person may have lost their stuff for a little while, but they are starting to understand you guys' connection, okay? So, let me get more. Tell me more. I'm afraid to contact you. We need to let each other go. And my life is not the, as together as it seems. And I regret lying to you. So, somebody, maybe you guys had some type of disagreement. Maybe there was some type of disagreement. Okay, so you got, this could be vice versa. Or this could be their, this could be your energy or theirs. But I'm getting like at top, this is could be somebody's energy. And down here, this is telling me about a situation that possibly has already occurred, or you're in a situation now, or is to come. All right. So I wish I could take back my words. Somebody is wishing that they could take back their words. And now they're afraid like to contact you, to reach out to you. Um, somebody may be saying like, you know, the best thing for us to do is let each other go, but somebody's life is not as together as it seems. I feel like even though this person loves you and shows you, um, that they love you unconditionally and that they're grateful for you, I still feel like someone here could have some type of issues in regards to where they really want to be. All right, because we got, I'm afraid to contact you. We need to let each other go, and my life is not together as it seems. I regret lying to you. So there's something that this person wasn't or isn't being honest about. And this person could be afraid to uh, contact you or reach out to you after some type of disagreement. Because it seems like up here, everything is just going good. And then down here, it's like there's a gray area. And somebody is faking a funk, making it seem like their life is all, all the way together when really some things need to be worked on. And this person could have been like not completely being honest, not completely being honest about something here. But I do feel, I feel like somebody could be really, really, really invested. Because we got I love you unconditionally. Like, somebody is, yes, yeah, see, here we go. I'm starting to understand our connection. And I just said that that was one of the cards back here in the back. Now, we got we will be together again. Finding out the truth crushed me. So, there's some type of truth that could be coming to the surface. There could be some type of truth that's getting ready to come to the surface. And there may be a split. I feel like a, a quick split. And this person could be afraid to reach out to you, afraid to contact you, because 
they don't have their shit together. Like they they're not together. They're not as together like when they're with you. A split would really hurt this person more. <laughs> affect this person more. But I feel like this person may be covering up something. Okay, so let's let's jump into the tarot and let's see what message we get. Well, before we jump into the tarot, we're going to do the romance angels. And let's see what else we can dig up. Give me a message. Tell me more about Leo's person. Tell me about Leo's person. Oh, we got unrequited love. Um, it is safe for you to love. And then we got codependency. Yeah, I felt that. Now, we got a heart-to-heart -heart conversation here at the bottom of the deck here in past life. Okay, so somebody needs to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about a situation from the past or a person from the past. Okay, religious factors could play a part in the situation. It's about someone's belief system, how they do things, you know, how they were raised, that type of issue. I feel like this person could be at a distance from this person. But there needs to be, somebody needs to release their ex, okay? So we got release your ex here. Forgiving uh, forgiving and learning. Soulmate. This is somebody that somebody's at a distance from. They're at a distance. But there still needs to be some type of conversation that needs to be had. Now, what I'm getting here, I'm getting unrequited love, okay? So, the thing about unrequited love is somebody is giving more to the connection than the other, okay? There's not enough balance. It, the situation really is not balanced, okay? So, we got, it is safe for you to love. So, this person could be trying to get you to let your guard down or keep your guard down, but it's just something about the situation. I feel like this person could be extremely codependent upon you. Like, this person depends on you, like, you're a, a person's lifeline. Now, the situation could be unrequited because this person does a lot of flirting, okay? Yeah, I'm getting a lot of, ooh, I'm getting a lot of chemistry, attraction, passion. Like, this person could, it could be a big flirt, for sure, for sure. Like, they flirt a lot. And then we got forgiving and learning and honeymoon. Yeah, like, I feel like we got finances and career and reconciliation very soon. Okay, so somebody is, their focus could be on money. Somebody's focus is on finances and career. But I'm getting like, I'm getting that there's like some type of disagreement. Or something needs to be done. A chapter needs to be closed. But then we got very soon in reconciliation. So somebody's getting ready to reconcile with someone here. And it's somebody that's a true love. Okay, so maybe there's a split or a break until something gets figured out. And then I'm getting somebody's reconciling. Okay, but I'm getting like, I'm getting a real codependent type of. I'm getting a real codependent type of connection here. Like, somebody depends. Like, you're somebody's lifeline. I'm just kidding. Like, you're someone's lifeline. Like, what am I going to do without you type energy? That's, that's kind of scary. Okay, so let's see what the tarot has to say about your person. All right, so let's see. Tell me more about um, Leo's person. 
What does Leo need to know about that person, about this connection? What does Leo need to know? The Seven of Wands, the Five of Wands. And the store, all right? So at the bottom of the deck, we got the Six of Cups. Um, there's something here about the past. The past, something about the past keeps being brought up in this connection. Somebody's still holding on to something from the past. Um, a connection or something possibly ended. And someone, you can't really tell... How can I put it? You're not sure of the reaction, of their reaction after some type of connection ended. It has something to do with the past. Something to do with the past. But I definitely feel like there's some type of conflict or competition. Tell me why the Seven of Wands is here. Okay. Somebody's forcing somebody to, like, get back together. Somebody's, like, really pushing. This person could have really, like, pushed you. It's pushing you to, like, let's get back together. Let's work this out. Let's balance this out. Could be dealing with a Libra. Three of Swords and a Justice here. There could be something here about a divorce. Someone may need to get a divorce. Or there's um, a third party involved. We got the Nine of Cups. And then we got the Empress and the Two of Cups. Yeah. This person this person wants this connection. It's kind of like they're forcing it. It's kind of, I really feel like, like they're pushing for it really, really hard. Really, really hard. Now we got the Five of Wands here and the Four of Cups. Okay, so somebody, yes, somebody, this person feels like they don't have control over the situation. So this person could kind of like be like um, a little controlling, could be dealing with like an Aries. This person is upset because they can't control the situation. Yeah, I'm getting like this person is realizing that they are going through some type of cycle um, or some type of awakening. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Yeah, the Hermit. You could be dealing with the Virgo. This person may distance themselves. This person could be going through some type of awakening. I'm getting that. Like, they can't, they feel like they can't control the situation. They're realizing it. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? I don't have any control over the situation. I don't have any control. This person wants control. I'm getting. This person could be on the fence as well, too, because we got the two of swords here. Like, this person is at some type of crossroad. They're at some type of crossroad. Okay, I feel like they want to walk away from something or someone, eight of cups in the world. I'm hearing them say, I told you how I feel, how I really feel. This person is like really stressing, like really stressing over here. And they're saying that they don't have any control over the situation. So why is the star here? Could be dealing with an Aquarius. We got the four of wands and the sun. It looks like this person is hoping, for, yeah, we got the strength card. That's definitely Leo's energy. It's kind of like this person is hoping to have some type of stability with you. Yeah, uh, some type of balance and peace um, with you. Some type of forgiveness. We got the two of pentacles. Okay, so I'm getting a, some juggling going on. But <laughs> I'm not sure if you're going to... Some of you not gonna, aren't going to accept this person's forgiveness. But this person is coming with forgiveness for something. And they're going to be expressing to you how they want to, and want this connection. How they want uh, to have stability and peace with you. Now 
they're saying that they're putting things, uh, old bad habits behind them. Like this person is real deal going hard. Like this person is really going hard. I feel like after some type of like disagreement or issues from the past come up and I feel like this person is like really going hard, really going hard to try to prove to you that look, it's not what it seems. Um, I want this with you. Like, I'm just getting like this person's like really, 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 really going hard. They're <laughs> going hard. Okay, so let's get some advice. All right, so give me some advice for Leo, please, for their situation. We got trust, reconsider, romance, okay? So it definitely has something to do in the romance department. Can you trust this person? For you to reconsider, you know, it's up in their offer that it looks like they're getting ready to bring an offer in. Can you trust this person? Is there something that needs to be reconsidered? You need to be assertive. Say what you mean and mean what you say. One of those cards is falling on the ground. I'm going to have to get it in a sec. Okay. We got recovery. It, it looks like. So a lot of you guys may decide to like, hey. I'm going to let you come back. Okay. But this is what it's going to be. This is what my requirements are. This, if you can't do this, then, you know, that's the end of it. Because we got yes here, and it's under reconsider. The thing about it is, is with recovery here, I feel like it's going to take a lot. It's going to take a lot. It's going to take a lot. Tell me more about recovery. Meditation brings answers. Tell me more about recovery. Remain positive. It's going to take a lot. It's going to take a lot of growth. It's going to take a lot of healing. Improving health. Dealing with this situation, you may be feeling unhealthy. It's saying that the perfect time is going to be within the next few months. Perfect time in the next few months. So something in the next few months is coming up and it's going to be a perfect time. It's going to be like, feel like right on, right on time. Okay. It could bring in some big changes um, within the next few months. It's like perfect timing. But some, um, some of you are going to be like, look, there's a trust issue here. And some of you are going to be assertive. You're going to stand in your power and until you get the results that you want. Some of you guys are going to be reconsidering. Some of you guys are going to be saying yes. And then you got some, you know, that's like, look, I'm trying to recover. I need to recover. Yeah, I need to focus on me for a little while. So, I'm getting within the next few months, there is going to be some changes. There is going to be some changes. And it looks like you guys are going to be happy with the changes that are coming. All right, so that's the message that I have for my Leos. If this message resonated with you, be sure to hit the like button as well as comment, share, and subscribe if you are new. All right, until next time, ciao for now.